Okay, so the lighting may be a little dim right now because of the, uh, the, the, the sun hasn't risen yet. It's, uh, or it's just starting to rise. It's six in the morning. Um, I'm on my way to work, but I wanted to come and harvest red and sweet. Um, honestly, I didn't realize the vine on this one had died. I was just coming to look at this one. And the vine on this one has died. So I'm gonna, uh, I may, uh, leave that for one more day. I'm gonna let those nutrients on this vine, um, run through it. Let's see if it comes out. That's, that's ready. Tad bit of life in there. Leave that one. And this one, it's the one I wanted. It's starting to go soft. I think this one is overripe. This was the one that I, <clears throat> this, was <clears throat> this was the one that I found right here. And I moved it to right here. Uh, I found it yesterday. I want to hurry up and get this one cut open. The other um, red and sweet is also ripe though because the umbilical has died out on it since the time we last saw it. I'll save that one for uh, another day. But yeah, we can see this one started going bad. Oh, it cracked. Uh, that's what happened, it cracked right, it split from the rain. Uh, it's terrible, terrible. Um, let's try to wipe this off and see, see what we can get from it. Should have picked it yesterday when it was still a solid melon. There's even grass in there. Wow. Oh, this isn't safe to eat. Um, let's get a weight measurement on there. Five pounds. That's why you don't want to play around with your melons. And like I said on that video, I, I, uh, I said it was uh, ripe because um, the, the, the hairs on the <clears throat> the hairs on the umbilical had shriveled. This is a small one. This is four pounds, four ounces. Let's try to cut it open. Sounds bad. Sounds like a lot of water in there. Oh, it's mush. Ah, uh, yeah, that's overripe. It's not even opening up. Um, yeah, I'm not putting that on my bricks meter. You can see how soft it is. I knew, I knew it was gonna be um done, but. I should have just picked it yesterday. The sun got to it. So I'm gonna pick that other red and sweet right now. There's one red and sweet now. Another one to go. And I have uh, those few melon Mexicanos that's still growing right now. And you can see the vines have died out now. On my other video, I said, uh, well, I showed that behind the vine was uh had died out but the front of the vine hadn't died out yet but now the front has died out so we're gonna pick this little guy and it's still a solid melon let's just hope for the best that it has uh full color in there and, uh high sweetness now, this is a much heavier one But they, <clears throat> like I said, they've all been small. All the uh, red and sweet watermelons that I've been harvesting, they've been small. Let's wipe some of this off of there. There's a lot of dirt it was sitting in. Okay. Six pounds, 0.3 ounces. Let's get it cut open. Yeah, 
Woo. Popped right open. That's definitely red. Oh, that's a deep red. Wow. So that's how it looks. We have ripe seeds in there. Let's get a taste test. Matter of fact, set this up here. You just hold the ripe one out the way. Bring the ripe one. That looks very crisp. If I must say so myself, the uh, flesh looks very crisp. Okay. Get a taste test and then we'll do a bricks test. This is how it looks. Uh, it still has a uh, slightly bland. It tastes like watermelon. But it's not, it's not as sweet as it should be. Seven point one. So red and sweet is supposed to measure um up to twelve to thir to thirteen bricks, but mines have only been showing around around seven. So you can see this was a ripe red and sweet. As I said before, I believe there's a genetic issue with these seeds. They may have been cross-pollinated, um, the seeds I received, so it's not coming out how it was expected to come out. So the, the melons were supposed to reach up to 40 plus pounds with the bricks of 12 to 13. These have been um, under eight pounds with the bricks of seven and under. So it's not a growing error on my part. I can grow watermelons to full ripeness. It's, um, it's, the, it's the seeds. So see y'all in the next one.